Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Got another status pro baseball game here for you today. Today it's going to be the 2019 Chicago Cubs hosting the 1995 Pittsburgh Pirates. I believe the 95 Pirates had um, 95 wins and the 2019 Cubs had um, like 84, maybe 84. So it would be a pretty close game, I think. You could expect that. And on the mound for the uh, homestanding Cubs will be um, Kyle Hendricks. And for the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates of 1995 will be Denny Nagel. Um, Kyle Hendricks' uh, pitcher reduction is 13 and Nagel's is 15. And the lineups for the teams will be as follows. The Pittsburgh Pirates will have Jacob Brumfield in center field. L. Martin in left field, Orlando Merced at first base, Jeff King at third base, Nelson Liriano at second base, Mark Parent will do the catching, Jay Bell at shortstop, Dave Clark in right, and then the pitcher Denny Nagel. And for the Cubs, their lineup will be Ian Happ in center field, Ben Zobrist at second base, Chris Bryant at third, Anthony Rizzo, the first baseman, Jason Hayward in right, Kyle Schwarber in left, Wilson Contreras at catcher, Addison Russell at short, and then Kyle Hendricks, the pitcher. Uh, for the um, for the Cubs, the I happen to have had the uh, hitting cards for each individual pitcher. So Hendricks has his own hitting card, but I am using a generically um, generated um, pitcher hitting card for Denny Nagel. So with all of that having been said, we will get underway. All right, the first batter is Jacob Brumfield. And that is a PB7 and Hendrix is a um, PB7. So uh, it's uh, gonna be on Hendrix's card. And the uh, Reading on the next thing is a 65, which is an out. So Brumfield is out, and we will see how he got out. He was a uh, an RN. RN is a ground out um, to six with a possible error. Um, and uh, there is no error, so... He was out. This batter is Al Martin. Al Martin has a 10, so this is not going, it's going to be on Al Martin's card. And this is a random uh, 51, which on Al Martin is a strikeout. So Al Martin strikes out. Next is Orlando Merced. That's a PB6, so it's on Hendrix's card. And it's an 86, so it's an out. And we will mark that down right here, and then we will go to the second. And that brings up Ian Happ. Ian Happ is the first batter. That is a PB7, and uh, Nagel is a, a seven, two to seven, so will be on his card. It's a random 51, and that is an out. And Hap is a BP, 
and uh, Zobrist was out four to three. Or Hap, Hap was out four to three, and now Zobrist is up. That is a PB5. It's on the pitcher's card. Um, it is a 54, so it's an out, and he is um, an SN. And all go out F7. So he flew out to 7. And that brings up Chris Bryant. It is a random 6. That is going to be on Nagel's card. It's a 38. And 38 falls in the range of strikeout. Who runs there, and we go to the top of the second. Yeah. Jeff King is the batter for the Pirates. That is an 11. It's going to be on Jeff King's card. It's a random 26. That looks like it could be a hit, and it is. It's a double. So that's the first hit of the game. And it's for Pittsburgh for Jeff King. That brings Nelson Liriano to the plate. That is a uh, PBZ. So that's going to be a strange play, a new number, and that would be 33. And uh, only when runner on first. Okay, so there nothing happens there. Um, so we'll flip the uh, next card. It's a 63. And this is an out. And Liriano is an SN. And SN is G5 with a possible error. And uh, there is no error. So there's one out. Liriano goes five to three. Um, Mark Parent is up with one down. And uh, that's a PB5, which is on um, Hendrix's card. And it's a random 21. And that is a. Uh, single to center field and that's going to be another hit and at least move runners to first and third he's a speed D we're going to keep him right there um, so parent with the single and there's only one out and the infield's going to stay back because it's early in the game and they're going to hope for the double play. And even if not, they're going to figure they can get one run. Jay Bell is up. That's a random seven. It's on Hendricks's card. And it's a 64, which is an out. And Jay Bell is an RN. And that is a fly, uh, fly to deep left field. So I'm going to guess that the runner scores on that, and there is two down. And that brings up Dave Clark. So you've got no runner there now, and a run for Pittsburgh. And then Dave Clark up. And the card is a 9, so it's on Dave Clark's card. And the random number 21 is a first base. It's a single to center field. We're just going to say the runner holds. That's another hit. And Hendricks is, uh, is getting his butt handed to him here a little bit. And just in time, Nagel steps to the plate that's a rant that's a pb9 so um nagel's in charge which is not good but it's a random 16 and that's going to be a single seven that's going to be a single to left field um nagel with a hit and they are probably i'm going to say they're probably not going to send no because that's mark parent and he's also bad with the speed but they got the top of the lineup coming up too, so 
Um, yeah, let's mark that down. That's another hit. And you got the bases loaded now. With Jacob Brumfield up, a 12 means it's on Brumfield's card, and a 47 is a walk. And Hendricks walks in a run. So, Brumfield with the walk. And the RBI. And the second run for the uh, Pirates. And Al Martin is up. That's a five, so it's on Hendricks's card. And it's a 35, which is a strikeout. Anthony Rizzo comes up for the Cubs in the Cubs second inning. He draws a six, and that is on Nagel's card. There is nothing there, so we draw another one. And that's a 51. That's going to be an out, and he is an LP, left-handed power hitter. All go F2. So Rizzo flies out, or fouls out to the catcher. Jason Hayward is up. Uh, this is a 12, so it'll be on Hayward's card. Um, and it's a random 11, which is a single. So that's the first hit for the Cubs. Schwarber is up. He gets an 8, so it's going to be on his card. And it's a 22, which is a home run. Schwarber ties the game with a home run. Wilson Contreras is up. Still nobody out, is that right? No, there is. There is one out. Wilson Contreras, that's an eight, so it'll be on Contreras' card. And also we have to reduce... Now we... I gotta catch up on these reductions, because uh, one, two, three, four, and then two more. So Hendricks is down to a seven, and then one, two, one, two, and Nagel's down to an eleven. And uh, this is an 8, so it's going to be on Contreras' card. And it's a 58, which is going to be a strikeout. So there is two down. Contreras striking out. And then uh, Addison Russell's up. This is a PB8, so it'll be on Russell's card. And it is a 76, which is an out. He's an RN. For an RN, that's a ground ball to the third baseman with a possible error. And there are no errors. We go to the top of the third. Pittsburgh up um, with Orlando Merced, the batter. And that is a PB11, so it'll be on Merced's card. And it's an 86, which is an out. And he is an SP or the BP or whatever. All go out, uh, ground out to the second baseman. So with a possible error. And uh, error 3 to 10 on the second baseman. Um, so let's. No, it is a three, so, um, and it's a two base error. So Al Martin gets on by an error. And that's going to reduce him another one. Puts a runner at second. And Jeff King up at the plate with no outs because he was the first batter. Uh, that's a random eight, which is. Uh, going to be on Jeff King's card and it's a 36 and a 36 is a strikeout so there's one away Liriano is up and it's a PB8 so it's going to be on Liriano's card it's a 24 and 24 for him is 
a first base, a single to uh, right field. That will put runners at the corners. We're just going to hold them right there. And Mark Parent at the plate. Mark Parent with some power. There's only one out. Uh, PB6, so it's going to be on Hendricks's card. And it is an 87, which is an out. And Parent is an RP. And RP is going to be F8. And uh, let's see. Uh, let me see on fly and the outfielder throwing rating for center field for Hap is a five. So it's 11 to 15. So that's not very good odds. So they are going to just hold the runners right there and Jay Bell will come up. And we get a uh, seven, so Hendricks is in charge, and a 34, which is a strikeout. So J Bell strikes out the bottom of the third with Hendricks leading off. He's almost at the end of his rope, but they're going. They still need to get some innings out of him, um, and it is a tie game after all. So they're going to let him hit. This is an 11, so it'll be on Hendricks's card, and it's a 52, which is um, a strikeout. So Hendricks strikes out. Hap is up. This is an 8, so it'll be on Hap's card. It's a 28, so that's a home run. Ian Hap hits a home run with one out. And uh, so let's see here. And it reduces Nagel down to a nine. Well, no, it reduces him to an eight. One for the home run and one for the hit, which was a home run. Zobrist is up. Zobrist gets a BD. We're going to ignore that uh, since there's nobody on. It's a PB4, so it's going to be... Nagel in charge, and it's a 32, which is a strikeout. Zobrist with the K, and that's uh, two struck out this inning for Nagel, but he did allow the home run. And uh, Chris Bryant's the next batter. It'll be on Bryant's card, and it's a 63, which is a walk. And that'll reduce Nagel again. And Bryant with the walk. And then Rizzo comes up. And Rizzo gets a PB4, so it'll be on Nagel's card. And it's a 62, which is going to be an out. Top of the fourth. The Pirates are up. Dave Clark stepping in. Hendricks trying to stay out there long enough to get the win. It's a uh, BD, so we'll just pick another one. It's a uh, 5, so it's going to be on Hendrix's card. And it is a 75, which is an out. And he is an LN, and LN is G5 with a possible error. And error 4 to 10, so the third baseman for the Cubs is Bryant and he is a five so that is an error and it's gonna be an error three it's a three base error huh three base error all right so lead off Dave Clark gets a uh, a three base error by um, by Bryant and that's the second error for the Cubs and that's an E5 they'll just let him hit infield's gonna come in 
Uh, this is an 8, so it'll be on Nagel's card, and it is a 54, which is an out. And he is, um, let's see, what is he? Or he's an uh, 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 LR. All go F8. So the question is, does... Um, does Dave Clark score? He is a speed of D. I'm going to say they're just going to hold him. And uh, that's going to be, it's really one out. Um, Brumfield up the plate. Um, that's a Z reading. And 38 is... Batter singles to right and runners advance two bases, but the batter turns the wrong way at first and is picked off. Right fielder to first baseman. Um, but that would be two outs and the run would score. So Brumfield with a single. Um, and we have another, we have a tie game on our hands again. But now with two out, yeah. And Al Martin up, and he gets a twelve, which is a, uh, which is on going to be on Martin's card, and it is a forty-eight, which is. Um, a strikeout. A 3-3 game. With Hayward stepping up to the plate. And uh, also, that error, that error and the hit reduce him too, and the run. So now Hendricks is down to a 2. Um, we'll see if he can stay out there, but... That's a five, so it's on uh, it's on Nagel's card, and it is a seventy six, which is an out, and he's an LP. All go six three A. The error is three to ten. Um, so that's the shortstop. Um, and let's see, three to ten for the shortstop, and that's Jay Bell. And he's a two, so there is no air, so it's an out. Hayward goes six to three. Schwarber is up. Schwarber gets uh, an 11, so it'll be on Schwarber's card. And it is an 88, which is an out, and he's an LP, which is a 3-1-A. Three to one, um, A with a possible error. Let's pick for the possible error, and uh, it's an error 10. Nobody's a 10, so. So he's out, and I think that's, is that two down? That is two down. And then um, the next batter is Wilson Contreras. It's a PB3, so it's on Nagel's card, and it is a 37, which is a strikeout. We go to the top of the fifth with Orlando Merced. This is a PB6, so it will be on Hendricks's card, and it's a random 12. And that's going to be a hit, which reduces him down to one. And it's a hit for Merced. And another hit for Pittsburgh. And Jeff King is up at the plate with no outs. That's a PB6. That is on Hendricks's card. It's a 46, which is going to be an out. And he is an RP. And all go G4 with a possible error. And error 8 to 10, nobody is that, so it is going to be an out.
one down. Nelson Liriano's up. It's a six. It is on Hendricks's card. It's a 41, which is uh, an out, and he is an SN. And SN is a G4, possible error. There is no error to away. So four to three. And Mark Parent is up, and that is a PB8, which is going to be on Parent's card. And it's a 13, which is a first base right field. A hit to right field. They're just going to hold the runner because there's two outs. But now we are going off of, uh, we're, uh, they're all going to be batter's cards now because uh, Hendricks is gassed. And uh, they're going to see if, he, they're going to still see if he can get out of the inning. Jay Bell is up. Um, the random 45 is a strikeout. So Jay Bell strikes out off his own card. And we are back at zero. The uh, Pirates threatened there, but they did not score. And we go to the bottom of the fifth with Addison Russell facing Nagel. Addison Russell has a five, so that's on Nagel's card. And it's a 55, which is an out. And he is an RN. And RN is an F6, one away. So he uh, fouls out. Falls out to shortstop. Russell does. That brings up a Hendricks, and they're going to pinch hit for Hendricks, obviously. And uh, so let's write him in. Javi Baez pinch hitting with one out. Um, that is a two. It'll be on Nagel's card. It's a 43, which is a walk. So Baez walks. So they do have a runner aboard, and there he is. Ian Happ is up. That's a two. It'll, it'll be on Nagel's card. It's a 66, which is an out. He is a uh, BP all go sick. I'll go G6, so it is a ground out to the shortstop um, with a possible error. But if it's a ground out to the shortstop, shouldn't it be a possible double play? No, I guess not. I guess it would be. Uh, I guess it would be a fielder's choice because it doesn't say that it would be. Uh, but there is a possible error. We flip the card, and there is no error. So, half was out. And that brings up Zobrist, and Zobrist gets a 10, so it's on Zobrist's card, and it's an 85, which is an out, and he is a um, SN, and that's an F9, flies out to right field. And uh, I think we didn't reduce Nagel, so we had to do that. And now we need a new pitcher for... They're going to bring in Pedro Strope. And so we need to replace the pitcher hitting card. Okay, so now they've got the pitcher's hitting card in the right place. They have Strope on the mound. We have Dave Clark. Um, as the batter here in um, the sixth in a tie tie uh, in a three three tie and Dave Clark up that is a nine and Strope is a where is his reduction thing he is a reduction ten and uh, 
That is a nine, and he is a two to six, so that's going to be on Dave Clark's card, and it's a 54. And 54 is a walk. So that reduces stroke immediately. Man is aboard. That brings up Nagel. That'll let him hit. Um, he, it's a PB7, so that is on Nagel's card. And it is a 78, which is an out. He is an LN. That is a line out one um, with a possible error. And uh, the error is 9 to 10. He is a 10, so he makes an error. And it's an error 3. So it's a 3 base error for Strope on a line out, what well, would have been a line out by um, Nagel. And that is going to be another. And it, that's a run scored, too, so it's 2. The air allows the run to score, and the Cubs are playing really shoddy defense here. Um, allowing the Pirates to take a 4-3 lead. And now they have a runner at third. And no outs, and Brumfield up. And that is a 10, so it'll be off Brumfield's card. And it's a 12, which is not good. It's a single, which drives in a run. So that's another two for Strope, and he's almost already gassed. Um, that is going to be a hit for the Pirates and another run. So Brumfield with a single. Al Martin is up. This is an eight. So it'll be on Al Martin's card, and it is a random 35, which is a strikeout. So he strikes out. Orlando Merced up, and he gets a 10, which is on Merced's card. That's a 37, and that's going to be a home run, two-run homer. And now the Pirates have a commanding lead. Three. And that reduces him two more, down to three. Jeff King is up. Jeff King gets a Z. 23 is left fielder, crashes into the wall, double. Runners score. All right, so it's a double. There was nobody on. So Jeff King with a double. And that reduces Strope again. That is a PB5, uh, which is on Strope's card, finally. And that's an 84, which is an out. And he is an RP, and all go F2, which is a foul out to the catcher, which is two down. And now uh, Liriano is up. That's a five, which is on Strope's card. And it is a random 43 which is a pass ball and moves the runner to third. And then um, a PB7, which is on Liriano's card, and it's a 62, which is an out, and he's an SN. And SN is all go 6-2A, ground ball 2A, with a possible error, and there is no error. So with the um, with the uh, Cubs up at the plate and with Rizzo stepping in he gets a 5 which is on Nagel's card that's an 84 which is an out and he is an RP and that is or wait a, oh, wait a minute no this yeah Bryant is an RP it's Bryant and um, that's a six, the ground ball 3A, possible error, and there is none. So Bryant's out.
Rizzo is now up with one down. That's a 12, so it'll be off Rizzo's card. It's an 11, which is a single. So Rizzo with a hit, and that is another hit for the Cubs. Uh, I gave him another air. God. Uh, although, really, the, with the way they've been playing, that's coming. Jason Hayward steps in. He gets a six. Um, that's a 20. Uh, it's a 51. 51 is um, on Nagel's card. It's an out. He's an LP. And LP is a ground out six to the shortstop with a possible error, and there is no error. So Hayward is out. And is that just one out? No, that's two. And then Schwarber is up, and he gets a four, which is going to be on Nagel's card, and it's a 67, which is an out, and he is an LP. And LP is a ground ball 6-4-A, possible error, and there is no error, so Schwarber is out. But we're going to the top of the seventh, and they will, the Cubs will bring out a new pitcher, and that's going to be Brandon Kinsler. Or wait a minute. Are we in the top of the seventh? Yeah, we're in the top of the seventh, and Kinsler is pitching, and he's going to be dealing to Parent to lead off. And that is a PB3, so it's on uh, Nagel's card. Or wait, it's on, uh, it's on Brandon Kinsler's card, and he, that's an 18. And that's going to be a first a single to center field for Parent. Jade Bell is up, no outs, and that's going to reduce. He uh, started out as a six, so that reduces him to five already. Jay Bell, 11, so it'll be on Bell's card, and it's a 23, which is a double seven, double to left field. Runners are at second and third. Uh, the Cubs are going to have to bring the infield in now. Um, and that reduces him another one. And you got runners at second and third. And the Pirates are just laying it on here. Uh, that's a, a BD. Um, let's see. Triple to left center all runners score. Wow. So that was Dave Clark. Yeah, Dave Clark with the triple. And uh, that is already eats up Kinsler. And it's another hit for Pittsburgh. And it's another two runs for Pittsburgh. And it's nine to three. And they're gonna pinch hit for Nagel because they would take him out next inning anyway. To pinch hit. And they are going to keep the infield in and keep Kinsler out there for the moment, even though he's eaten up. So it's a 35 on Wainer's card, and it's a triple. So another triple. They follow a triple with a triple. And this is just crazy. It's 10 to 3. Wainer with a triple. Let's write him in. There hasn't been an out yet, and he was a um, reduction six, and now he's down to five, and Brumfield's up, and Brumfield gets a four, which is on Brandon Kinsler's card, and it's an 18, and an 18 is a single to center. The Cubs cannot get, their pitching can't get an out. It's another hit. And it's another run, and that reduces him two more. And, uh, yeah, Brumfield with a single. And Al Martin's up, 
that's a five so it's on Kinsler's card it's a 45 which is an out and he is an LN LN is ground ball to the shortstop with a possible error there is no error so there is one out um, and uh, Al Martin is out one down and Merced up that's a 10 so it'll be on Merced's card and it is an 84 so he's out that's an S he's an SP I'll go G4 with an um, possible error and there is no error so Merced is out and probably advances the runner to second and then Jeff King is up and he gets a four which means he's on Kinsler's card and it's a 31 which is a strikeout so Jeff King strikes out they go to the bottom of the seventh with Contreras up at the plate and Nagel is going to come out he was pinch hit four so he has to come out Leavers. they'll bring in John Eriks he is an RR9 and uh, Wilson Contreras will greet him as the first batter and it is a, uh, a CD so we'll pick another one it's a nine so it is on Contreras's card and it is a 72 which is going to be a hit by pitch so that reduces Eric's already down to an eight And Addison Russell's up. Addison Russell gets a CD. He is a, uh, let's see, what is he? And it's an 86. Um, no action occurs, return to normal play, so we're going to do it again. Three, this is on Eric's card. It's a 45, which is a walk. So he allows two um, guys on. Walks Russell. And uh, there, the pitcher bat is up. And that's going to be another pinch hitter. Alberta Mora is going to pinch hit. Oh, yeah, there are two runners on. And uh, that reduces Eric's again. Another one. That is an 8, so it's going to be on Almora's card, and it's a 27, which is a home run. Albert Almora pinch hit three run homer. One, two, three, and another one for the hit. And, uh, and it's 11 to 6, and Ian Happ steps in. And that is a 7, it will be on his card, and it's a 68. And that is an out, and he is a an S, SN, and that's an F2 fly out, and nothing special happens, so it's an out. And with Zobrist up, he gets a 9, which is on his going to be on his card, and it is a 25, which is a single. That reduces Eric's again. And now there's a runner on, and it's another hit. I'm probably behind on the hits. Chris Bryant is up. Um, he gets a two, which is going to be on Eric's card. And it is a 74, which is an out. And he is an RP which is all go g3 with a possible error and there is no error so there's one away and um and chris bryant is out it was just chris bryant right yeah 
So that's two down, and then Rizzo steps up. He gets a seven, which is on Rizzo's card. It's a 58, which is a hit by pitch. A lot of hit by pitches going on here. And Hayward comes up. Hayward gets a CD. That's all I really don't need. It's a 68. Line out, OBR is back safely. So, stays the same, two away. He's out. And then uh, Schwarber's up. Schwarber gets a four, which is off of Hendricks's card. It's a 56 which is an out and he is an LP and all go G6A um, which is a possible error but there is no error and he is an RR7 so he'll start up at 7 and we have a uh, decent ball game we go to the top of the 8th 11 to 6 with Nelson Liriano batting against um, Batting against Kyle Ryan. And that's a six. And so it's on Ryan's card. And that's an 87. It's going to be an out. He's an SN. That is an F8. One away. All right. That was simple. Um, Mark Parents up. They get a seven. That's a. Um, that's on Ryan's card. It's a thirty-four, which is a strikeout, two away. So Parent strikes out, and Kyle Ryan comes in and settles things down. It looks like and there is an eleven, which is going to be on Jay Bell's card, and a fifty-two, which is going to be a walk. Jay Bell walks. That reduces Ryan one, and uh, there is a PB eight, which is going to be on Dave Clark's card, and it's a twenty eight, which is a uh, double to right field. Runners will hold. And that brings up the pitcher, which is John Eriks, but they will not let Eriks hit. Carlos Garcia will pinch hit. He gets a BD great. We pick a 72. BD zero is no action occurs, return to normal play, so that means just do it all over again. 11, it's on Carlos Garcia's card, it's an 86, he's out, that's an RN. All go G4 with a possible error, and it is error 3 to 10 for the second baseman, who is Zobrist, and uh, what does it say? Error 3 to 10. So it is an error on Zobrist. I already recorded the error. So another run comes in. Um, and yeah, we're going to have runners at the corners. And uh, another run. And it's 12 6. And then Jacob Brumfield is up. And he gets an 8, which is, and that'll reduce Ryan to a 5. And an 8 is going to be on Brumfield's card, and it's a 36. And 36 is a strikeout. So Ross Powell to pitch. He was terrible this year, 0-2 with a 698 earned run average and a 192 whip. However, um, they do have a serious lead. So it's 12 6, so there is that. Wilson Contreras is up at the plate. 
That's an 11, so it'll be on Contreras' card. It's a 42, which is a strikeout. So Contreras strikes out. Oh, wait a minute. No, Contreras was... So they'll pinch hit for the pitcher. With, Del, De, uh, with um, Nick Castellanos, he'll pinch hit. We're going to do it again. Seven is um, on Castellanos' card. It's a 73. He's out. He's an RP. All go F7. So he just flew out is basically what happened. Um, one down. That brings up being Hap. It's a six, so it's on Hap's card. It's a 38. And uh, 38 is a strikeout, so there's two down. And Zobris comes up, and uh, that's an 11, so it's on Zobris's card, and it's a 26, which is going to probably be a hit. It is a double. Reduces Powell. Bryant is up. He gets a Z. Great. I right fielder crashes into wall. Triple. Use injury factor. I'm not, I'm not you know, at this point, I'm just going to uh, forget about that. But it does score another run. And it is a triple. And another run scores, and Powell, man, this is this is just crazy. All right, so that's a hit, and it's another run for the Cubs, and it's 12-7. And Rizzo is up with two down, and it's a five, so it's on Powell's card, and it's a 67, which is an out, and he is an LP. That is an F4 with a possible error. And there is no error. So Rizzo is out. We go to, uh, they need another pitcher. Brock is going to come in and pitch for them. He is an RR12. So at least he's got a little traction on him. And uh, Al Martin, is he the batter? Yes, he is in the ninth. And that is a six, which is within Brock's card. It's a 67, which is an out. He's an LN, which is an F2, one away. Okay, that's what I want to see. Orlando Merced, he gets a CD, of course. Oh, wait, no, it's uh, go to the, nobody's on base, so go to the next one. It's a nine which is going to be on Merced's card. It's a 21, which is a single to right field. Merced with a single reduces Brock to 11. It's another hit. Um, Jeff King comes up. That is a 9, which is on Jeff King's card. That's a 16. Are you kidding? First base, it's another single to right field. I mean, they're just not stopping. I'm getting tired here. All right. Um, reduces Brock to 10. Nelson Liriano is up. Uh, he gets a 12, which is on Liriano's card. It's a 47, which is an out, and he is an SN. That's a ground ball 5A which means probably a double play um, if it's not an error. And there is no error, so it is a double play, and they're out of the inning. And even if that's not right, I don't care. And we're going to 
the next inning and the Pirates are going to bring in another pitcher. Um, and that pitcher is going to be Lee Hancock. And he will face Jason Hayward, who gets a six, which is within um, Hancock's uh, range. So it's Hancock in charge. And he was a good pitcher that year. He was 0-0 with a 193 earned run average and an 086 whip. And it's a 51, which is an out. And he's an LP, which is um, all out to F2. So there's one down. Kyle Schwarber's up, um, and that's a 12, which is on Schwarber's card. It's a 22, which is a home run, so Schwarber hits a home run. And it's 12-8. Wilson Contreras is up. That is a... BD will go to the next one. There's nobody on. It's a uh, five. It's within Hancock's range. It's a 75. He's out and he is an RP and that's an F3. So there's two down and Addison Russell steps in. He gets an eight which is within Hancock's card and it's an 88 which is an out and he's an RN and an RN is a GX6 which a possible error and it's an error 10, but nobody is a 10. So it is an out. And that's your final score. And this game mercilessly ends 12-8 with the 95 Pirates beating the 2019 Chicago Cubs by the score of 12-8. to